Hello and welcome back to the World of Tech, I'm Darren Dunn and in this video we're going to be taking a look at what's new in Apple's brand new iOS 5. Apple have quoted by saying we're taking iOS to a whole new level. Now they've introduced over 200 new features including a new notification system, an iMessaging system which we'll be looking at as well, newsstand, to-do lists and better Twitter integration as well as some more features. I'm not going to go too much into them because we're going to be having a look. So first of all let's take a look at the lock screen of the device. Now people were asking for widgets and they're going to get widgets as well. Although it's not the widgets that we're sort of hoping for, well we was hoping for. We sort of have a notification widget. For example if somebody sends a at reply on Twitter or an iMessage it's going to pop up in a little notification there that you're going to be able to slide to unlock. And if I do randomly get an iMessage during this video I will be showing you that as well. Now one new feature added to do with the camera application. One annoying thing with iOS 4 is when you want to access the camera you have to kind of unlock then go to your camera and all them settings. Now Apple have made this a lot better. Once at the lock screen just by simply double tapping you get not just the option to play your music you also get the option to enter your camera mode. Now this is a very good well integration in my opinion. Now what you're going to be thinking is so great people can now see my photos by getting past my password. Now if I was to have a password on the device you can't actually access the photos however all they would be able to do is take snapshots but they can't access your old ones or in any way shape or form get back to the home screen. Now the main user interface of iOS unfortunately hasn't really been changed much so the operating system does look a little bit stale. You, we are kind of used to just them rows and rows of applications. However we've got a few new notification features which is going to spice up iOS for a couple more weeks anyway. So one of them features is the ability to drag down a menu bar and yes that's kind of stolen from Android. Now basically this is what I was on about with the lock screen. You have these sort of widgets that I can easily click and then it's going to take me over to Twitter and I can read all my notifications and that drop down bar is pretty nice for saying I can drag it down anywhere and just by simply clicking the cross on any application it will remove it. However you can't actually remove the up to date weather application and I really do like this flowing stocks application. It does keep me up to date with what's happening in the world of market share. Going back to the home screen we have a few icon changes as well. For example if you are used to your iPod Touch you're going to have the separate music application and then another separate one for video which I really do think was a bit pointless but Apple know what they're doing so they must have done that for a reason. Now back at the home screen let's take a look at something else that's new. Let's open up calendar and you're going to see in the calendar application we have this new sort of bar that's like a timeline for the time of day that you're on. Another new feature that really did grab my eye was this invitations compartment. Now I'm not sure I will be using this but I'm going to have to say some people will be using it. The idea of this, what I think it's going to be able to do is allow people to send invitations, for example a birthday party or a meeting, direct to your phone. In other words, people can now tell you what you're doing. Photos is something else that was showed off at WWDC 2011. We now have a new Twitter integration as well as an application called PhotoStream. So I'm just going to open up a picture of me and Thomas Sifka and show off some of the features that are in that. Right within the application we have the ability to do basic editing. Now I do say and emphasize basic because don't expect anything like Photoshop from this. Now some of the features including rotate, rotate, put that back to normal, enhancements, red eye reduction and the ability to crop a picture. Now at the minute you can see iOS is a little bit buggy but that is because it's the developer's beta. I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to crop anything. Another thing that I'm going to be able to do right within the application We've seen all these before. You can email photo, assign to a contact, user's wallpaper, print which was pretty new in iOS 4.3 but now we have the ability to tweet. So if I was to click the tweet button it's going to, well it should do if it doesn't crash, yes it does. It's going to sort of paperclip the 
image to a tweet and then I can send out the tweet and add my location if I really wanted to and then just click send but I'm not sure I want to tweet that out so back to the home screen again now let's open up camera and camera I was pretty impressed with you know when you get that annoying sort of light change on your videos you might be able to just see it yeah you kinda of saw it there well now you have the ability to lock the focus and the auto exposure just by holding down and you can see it and now when I release you can see just down there it says A E and F A F sorry and just to remove that you just tap anywhere else so that's gonna stop the light change in your videos now it can be a bit annoying but it's gonna work so once iOS 5 is available for proper download it's going to be a lot better I can promise you that another new application built into the camera application is the options bar now you can now turn grid on and off and as you can see that brings up a sort of grid so you can tap to focus and just get your pictures a little more accurate another thing you can do is turn off HDR technology and turn it on right within the application another thing that did take me a sort of weird gesture to pick up on you've noticed that Apple are sort of moving slowly to gestures now if I was in the camera application and I wanted to get my pictures normally would have to go to there and then I'd have to click done and there's one of them notification things that we'll get on to later so once that eventually goes and it's gone we can now go back to the application and slide across and then you'll notice that I'm straight away brought to my photos which is one nice one nice feature should I say sorry and then I can go directly back to the camera and pick up where I was one of the most stale operating systems around is iOS and it's down to the fact that we've just not receiving any changes it's been since the first ever iOS we've had application 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 and so on and it's really annoying in fact if it wasn't for the fact that we could change our wallpaper I'd have probably died of boredom right now however one new application sorry two new applications that Apple have added is this application here called newsstand now what newsstand is going to do once it's finally activated as you can see the store button is sort of hidden away and that's because it's not ready yet and Apple don't want to release too much stuff that's just not going to work right now at the minute the operating system does have a few bugs for example most of the applications except Twitter Twitter is the only application I've found that actually works and it doesn't crash on launch Facebook cough cough so newsstand is going to basically provide me with all my favorite magazines and newspapers right for when I wake up it downloads over the air as soon as a new edition is ready which is pretty nice so it's going to be integrated with iCloud as well another new app application we have besides the videos application is reminders now reminders is something that I'm not going to use if I was to ever use this it would have been when we had the calendar application that could do it all for us I just preferred it to be migrated to one application now as you can see things are easily ticked and unticked and I'm not sure how to do this yet because I haven't played around with this application but eventually once the full version is released you're going to be able to set sort of reminders so exa for example it would be using my GPS if I was about to leave the country just before I leave the country the phone will let me know I've got to ring my mum and tell her that I've arrived at the airport safely so it's a kind of a nice integration however I'm not exactly a massive fan over it it's not life changing for me now we're going to go right back to the start because I missed something but I missed it on purpose because I really want to express my feelings about this now I mentioned iMessage at the start of the video and I did say I was going to be going into it a lot more now one thing you will notice is there's no application for iMessage it's all done in the messages application so if that wants to open like I said iOS is a bit buggy and now I'm going to receive shortly a iMessage that's going to pop up right here now as I open it you're going to see as it's come through hey Darren how are you now you're gonna see it does say that iMessage rather than text message so it is nice that it's gonna it knows whether you want to send a text message or an iMessage and this is done via phone number or email so I'm gonna just reply to that it's kinda not easy typing like this
So there is iMessage, and this is not new. I'm going to have to admit this, I've seen it on BlackBerry Messenger, and I've seen it on other mobile operating systems. So it's just kind of a nice new way to communicate with people with iDevices. Now this is going to be working with iOS 5, so it's going to be on the iPod Touch, it's going to be on the iPad. So yes, your iPad can text in a way. Now, one thing that I'm really annoyed with my carrier is I don't get any free picture messages. However, with iMessage, as you can see here, I can send a free picture and video message. So I'm really happy with that. And iMessage is my most used feature right now. Now, if you do want to get hold of me on iMessage, there will be a email address in the description. Just simply send a text message to that and I will respond as soon as possible. So iMessage is really what I am happy that Apple did announce. For the rest of the features, I'm not sure I'm going to use them that much. Now, what I do want to take a look at is notifications because this was what stole the show of Apple's WWDC. So, the way I'm going to demonstrate notifications, I'm going to just lock my device. Right, and as you can see that the user interface is just pretty stale besides that little and as you can see actually, as we have demonstrated here, we have a load of notifications coming in. Now they do flash for a few seconds, which is nice, it's just letting me know that I have some new notifications. And one thing that, instead of having to slide to unlock and then go to the application to read them, I can actually grab the notification I want, and then you'll see it's a slide to view. So if I slide that, it's going to take me direct to Twitter. Now, for the other notifications, if I was to go back to the home screen, you can see they've gone. However, all I have to do is slide to unlock and then drag the bar down and it's going to let me know that I have a message here. So it's kind of really nice the way that the notifications does integrate and work in every application. Now one thing I'm going to have to say is that iOS 5 at the minute, now I'm not complaining too much about this because I do understand that I, and I did actually expect this, it's killing my battery life like there is no tomorrow. I'm not getting a full day of battery now which is kind of disappointing but I was to expect that. So anyway that's really it for this video. There is 200 new features and I've only gone over the big ones. Now if you do want to go over some of them yourself head over to apple.com and there'll be a link in the description that shows you every new feature within iOS 5. I'm Darren Dunn from the World of Tech and for exclusive content follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash world of tech UK. I'm Darren Dunn and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.